This program is a project of KC Science Inc. and is supported by a grant from the Partnership for a Nation of Learners, Museums, Libraries, and Public Broadcasting. Joining forces, creating value. If we don't fix our science and math educational system, the nation is really in deep trouble. Math and science are being dumbed down. Are we really any dumber, though, than our parents? The general level of ignorance within the public is very high. And there's a distrust that whatever it is we find out, we're going to turn to some destructive evil end. Hello, I'm Nick Haynes. How often do you think about science? Well, for many of us, it means a trip down memory lane back to our high school days when we dreaded pop quizzes about the periodic table. Well, this week, KCPT joins with around a dozen organizations across the metro on a year-long quest to get us thinking more about the influence science plays in our lives right here in Kansas City. That's one of the wonderful misconceptions that our movies teach us is that, wow, if something explodes in, in space, we would hear the explosion. Wow, we don't hear the explosion! We'll be showcasing real-life scientists and weighing up some of the real-life science dilemmas impacting our metro. This half hour, though, we explore what some are now calling the quiet crisis. As Kansas City yearns to become a mecca for the life sciences, who is going to fill all these promised new jobs? Fewer and fewer young people are going into science, and there's growing concern that America is raising a new generation that is scientifically illiterate. The focus we had as children around studying science and math, mainly during the Sputnik era, if you look at it, that's what got me here. Uh, somewhere that's gone. Right now, Americans are not doing as well in math and science as we would like them to do, particularly our high school students. The New York Times bestseller, The World is Flat, details how on almost every measure, the U.S. is falling behind in science, while China, South Korea, and India are leaping ahead. Uh, we've been surviving on immigration, but that's not going to last because country after country is beginning to get wise and try to keep their uh, scientists from uh, fleeing. The future economy is dependent on the current generation. There's no two ways about that. U.S. kids are not competing internationally. Parents know that, but they don't quite know what that means. They don't know if they competed well before, so they can't really say, uh-oh, does that mean my child's not gonna have a job? It probably does. So should you be worried? This week, KCPT picks apart the issue as we convene a sort of informal town hall meeting on the subject with us are a couple of science teachers, a bioscience consultant, an economist, a scientist, a student, an international marketing expert, and some broad community thinkers who are not afraid to speak their minds. 